I hope y'all are having a great day. Today is July 1st, so it's the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I don't talk a lot about writing on my channel, I don't think, but I've always wanted to be an author. I've always wanted to be a novelist. Not always, but since fourth grade, which is pretty young. And when I was in fourth grade, I told myself I would finish writing a book by the age of 16. I'm 22, that obviously didn't happen. Anytime that I've tried to do NaNoWriMo, I have failed. <laughs> like I have commitment issues apparently with any project that's longer than 10,000 words because after that, I just get tired of my own ideas. But if you don't know, I'm starting medical school this fall. We have orientation starting from the beginning of August. And I don't know why, but for some reason in my head, I feel like starting medical school is like the end of my creative life, which I know is probably not true, but I really feel like starting med school feels like this big deadline that like anything that I want to do creatively, I need to do by the time I get to medical school, because after that I'm going to be in one lane and that one lane kind of consumes your entire life. And obviously I'm very privileged to be entering the healthcare sphere and to be able to provide care to people. And I wanna do that, but I don't wanna do that for the sake of having to sacrifice like other parts of who I am, other hobbies and interests, which include writing and obviously reading. So yeah, this is just a long-winded way of me saying like, this is my last chance to write a novel <laughs> is what it feels like to me, which is crazy because like that's not true and I'm still relatively young and like, I don't know, but for some reason it does feel like this is my last chance is Camp NaNoWriMo the month of July is to actually sit down, finally write a novel, do what I've always wanted to do, and then I'll feel good about stepping into the next chapter of my life, which is medical school. So that's why I'm vlogging this. I feel like if I say it out loud, if I say it on camera, then maybe I'll actually hold myself accountable. And additionally, not only vlogging, I actually roped my friend Alice <laughs> into doing this too. Um, so we have given each other prompts for this July Camp NaNoWriMo. I gave her the prompt, Tattoo Gone Wrong which can be like I physically went wrong and it doesn't look like how it's supposed to look or tattoo gone wrong and that it used to mean something to you and it used to be a part that you wanted on your body but for some reason it's just not working for you anymore and the prompt that she gave me in return is putting yourself out for humiliation repeatedly so with that I have these two story ideas I liked them pretty equally when I first thought about them um, but then I started outlining one first and now that I'm outlining that one I feel more attached to it, obviously, because I know it better. But yeah, it's day one. Obviously, to hit 50,000 words for NaNoWriMo, you want to write like 2,000 words a day. And also, I'm going to be moving the last week of July, so I feel like I really only have three weeks. I'm just like making it harder on myself. I'm giving me, I'm giving myself so many of these arbitrary deadlines, really. But I might do like weekly vlogs, try to vlog every day, keep you updated on my word count, post them like every seven days or so. I don't know. Does that sound like something worth watching? Probably not. I feel like vlogging every day is exposing yourself like on what your daily habits are like and my daily habits are trash. <laughs> I wear the same thing every day. I look like a potato, which is why I've never done a reading vlog. But you know, I can do a NaNoWriMo vlog. It's only a month. I can do it, right? Obviously I've written zero words so far because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my story. Maybe I'll vlog again at the end of the day and tell you what I've done. Hello, okay, it's July 2nd. I never updated you last night. So what I did yesterday was that I finished outlining. I use outlining very generously. It's a very vague, loose, rough outline, but I did it regardless because I've never outlined before and I feel like outlining a story gives you more motivation to finish writing it because you've kind of given yourself a little bit of a step-by-step -step guide to how to get to the end. So I outlined both story ideas that I had then I sent it to my friend Alice and I asked her which one had better novel potential. So she chose. I really like both stories, honestly. Check in again in like three days and I probably will hate both of them. Based on her recommendation, I went with one of them. And yesterday I wrote a total of 1,744 words, which is technically like on track for 50,000 words by the end of the month. But also the last week of July, I feel like I'm not gonna be writing because I will be moving and setting up my new apartment and stuff, which is exciting, but also probably not gonna be my most productive writing time. So yeah, my check-in for day one, 1,744. I haven't started writing today. I will hopefully update you later. But yeah, this is me wearing the same shirt that you probably will see throughout this entire vlog. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's now 1 p.m., still July 2nd. I wrote a little bit this morning. I The word count is now 2,455. That should be one day's word count, but 
whatever. I just watched the first episode of Normal People because my best friend Agatha recommended it to me. I really enjoyed the first episode. I don't know what about white heteros is so appealing to the mass audience, but I'm enjoying it. But yeah, so that was a fun break, but I'm gonna try to bang out some more words. I wanna get to like 4,500 words today, but that's 2,000 words away, so maybe that's too ambitious. We'll see. Okay, gang gang, bye. Okay, it is. 11 p.m. and I hit my word count. I have 4,875 words. So I'm gonna watch an episode of Normal People and maybe read and then go to bed. Day two going strong. Hi friends, it's July 4th. I didn't update you yesterday because I wanna say I forgot, but I didn't. I knew that I hadn't updated you, but it was that I didn't write all day until like past midnight. And then I didn't let myself go to bed until I hit my mark. My goal was like 6,500 words. And I went to bed at 6,618, so 6,618 words. So I met it, but consequently I went to bed late. So that is how we're starting July 4th. Hopefully I get some writing done today. Hello everyone, it's July 5th, so it's the fifth day of Camp NaNoWriMo. Yesterday, my word count goal, I think, was around 8,600, 700, something like that. And I went to bed, I think, around 8,833. So I hit my goal yesterday, which is awesome. Today, my goal is 10,000. 900 essentially it's like almost 11,000 and I currently have 9,436 so I read a little bit this morning it's 2:30. and if you're curious as to how I'm determining my word count goals for each day which I realize I haven't explained and might appear very arbitrary usually for NaNoWriMo you do 50,000 words in 30 days because it's in November but this is July so there are 31 days but I'm moving in on the 24th so I'm trying to do everything by the 23rd so I'm doing 50,000 words in 23 days. So 50,000 divided by 23 times whatever day it is. Today's day five. That means the goal is 10,869 words. Honestly, I don't feel like that motivated because what I am writing, what I'm producing is such garbage. <laughs> like it's such bad writing. I don't know if my characters are working. I don't know if anything is working. And it feels a little bit disheartening because I don't like what I'm writing necessarily. But I also know that to get further, I need to actually write down the story. But then also I get discouraged because I know after this month I probably won't have time to go back and make this better. So um, yeah, I'm just like in this cycle of unproductive thought, basically. But I'm trying. I'm trying my best. You know, we're only four days in, four full days in, five technical days in. I'm still committed. We're still going. That's the update for now. What is up? Okay, it's Monday, July 6th. We're on the sixth day of NaNoWriMo. Last night, I actually met my goal pretty early. Like I didn't have to stay up late to do it, which was exciting. I thought I could keep that that good energy rolling, but then today it, it just hasn't been here. I don't wanna write, I don't wanna write. I'm like losing passion for this story, which is so upsetting because it hasn't even been a full week yet. But anyway, my word count goal for today is 13,043 words. And I'm currently at 11,940. 42. So I have over a thousand words left to go and I, I'm in like what's supposed to be the fun and games section of the story. The fun and games section doesn't have that explicit of an outline and the outline that I first wrote and so I'm kind of at a loss where I really don't know where I, where exactly I want this to go and also it's getting to the point where I want to go back and fix things because I feel like some of my characters don't have enough motivation or not good enough motivation and then like logical fallacies will pop up and I want to go back and fix it but then I have to erase my word count and I don't want to ever detract from my word count so that's my problem yeah I'm, I don't know I'm gonna just whip out a thousand words of something of nonsense this is gonna be bad this novel is gonna be so bad but okay whatever I guess as long as it's written is it worth it to keep going on something you don't know you'll like. I think I said earlier, I have commitment issues with projects that are longer than 10,000 words. And you know, here I am, 11,942, so kind of right on time. I want to give up. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Wait, what is happening? Why isn't it focusing? Day six. Check. What is up, my dudes? I have the fan on, which is why my hair is uh, doing the Pocahontas stuff. You might be able to hear it, but 
you know, hopefully it's fine. It is July 7th, which means it's the last day of the first week of Camp NaNoWriMo. So after this day, I will have completed a full week of doing Camp Nano, which is, I guess, pretty impressive, you know, that I haven't given up. I think the last update I said I was at 13,200, but I guess I wrote a little bit more after that because I woke up and I had 13,519. And today's goal is a little over 15,200. So I still have like approximately 2,000 words left to write today. And honestly, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I just haven't been feeling it over the past few days. Like I said, I get tired of my own work so fast. I have huge commitment issues past 10,000 words. I made the mistake of going back and reading the beginning of the piece and I was like, this is garbage. This is straight up flaming trash. So definitely does not motivate me to uh, write my 2000 words today, but I will. I think what's also hard is that because I wrote my outline, I've been trying to write this chronologically, which is not normally how I like to write things. I like to skip around and write you know, whatever scene I particularly feel passionate about in that moment. But I do want to write this chronologically because I know if I skip the boring parts, the parts that I don't want to write, I'm not going to end up writing them. You know, I don't want to go back and actually write them. And then I just will have pieces of the story and it won't gel together. So I'm making myself do it chronologically and I'm just like in a boring section right now where like there's like a little bit of conflict, but it's not super interesting conflict to me, which is a bad sign, right? Like I should be interested in my own, con whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm letting it go. It's above me now yes i'll update you later maybe but this is the last section of this vlog because it's the end of the week ah! okay hello it is our last update for this vlog um because i finished my goal for july 7th so that is the first week of camp nanowrimo done check cha-ching i don't what am i doing anywho my writing goal for today was a little over fifteen thousand two hundred, and i just stopped for today at 15404 i was really in the writing groove when i pushed past like the boring part that I was in. So I'd say that there are three sources of tension in my story, which is like very common across many, many stories. There's family tension, friendship tension, and romantic relationship tension. And the third one is when I like really get in the groove. The first two are definitely harder for me to write. I think they're more complicated and they're not as obvious. So I kind of get stuck when I have to write those scenes. Once I just like crawl through those, then I can get into a groove and the rest of the 2000 words came out pretty easily. That being said, am I excited about this story still? Not really, which is disappointing because I didn't even last a week, you know, with this story idea before I got tired of it. It's sad because I think when you write something, the goal is always to write something that you're proud of and something that you're proud enough that you kind of want to share with other people. And I don't necessarily feel that, that way about this, but that's okay. I just, I want to get the words out. I want to say that I've I've won NaNoWriMo once at least, and I'm on track so far. So thanks so much for watching this very poorly filmed, very not entertaining <laughs> writing vlog for the first week of Camp NaNoWriMo. If you are participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, if you want to be friends on the site, please let me know. I'd love to have other friends and I would love to like creepily look at your word count, which is what I'm doing with Elena for <laughs> Elena the Great, as well as some school people who were in my fiction writing class last semester. So yeah, let me know if you want to be friends on the NaNoWriMo website. I'd love to add you. And if you're working on something, I hope that it's going well. I hope you're having a better time than I am. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself, staying healthy, given these uh, atrocious dystopian times. Yeah, I think that is it for me for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and happy reading slash writing. Bye!